It's our reality, just your average family Trying to be normal and stay out of trouble Living a double life What's up? Today we got Thurman's Season 3, Episode 5, Are You Afraid of the Park? This episode starts off with Billy and Nora checking their heights. Billy says, Nora grew last night. And, and Nora says, she's finally tall enough to ride Thunderman the ride. There's a ride that named after him. Is Hank, is Hank so egotistical that he literally named a ride after himself? I guess because he's a hero, but come on, Hank. Barb says, that's great. She told Nora if she was patient. And actually, Nora's, standing, Nora's actually staying on Barb's romance novel. Barb says, Nora, Nora can, can, can't walk around amazingly like that. And Nora says, sure she can. Then she falls. And Chloe says, and she's down. <laughs> I just love Chloe. Ding. I just have to put a ding every time I say I love Chloe. Because she has the best lines and is one of my favorite characters. Barb tells Nora that Hank will be here any moment to measure her. Then they'll know if he should get on the ride. Billy says he really hopes so. He's been waiting for Nora to be tall enough for, so they can ride their first ride together. That's why they made a picture frame to picture. They made a picture frame to picture. They're going to take on the ride. They've been practicing their screen faces. Hank shows up with a wing stand of himself because, yep, egotistical Hank, of course. And Hank says, he borrowed this from Amazing Land. And I thought someone would say, by borrowed, don't you mean steal? Because cause the way he says borrowed, and it's a cardboard, a standy version, version of himself, but this time he's doing a height, a height thing, kind of just looks, it's kind of like that he, I thought someone in the episode would say, by borrowed. Do you mean you steal that thing? Cause the way that he, cause I, cause do you think Amazing Land would just let him steal it? I'm suspicious about this, but I am. I'm suspicious about this. Man, yeah. Then, then they're all. Then, yeah. Then Nora said. Then Nora says. Blah, blah, blah about your stuff. Just measure her. And she sees that she's actually tall enough. And then and then they're all excited. Then Max comes in saying, Oh, they finally, they finally, they finally learned of his greatness. And then Phoebe's like, Nah, really. It's really about her. She got a haircut yesterday. Hank's like, We don't care about either of those things. No. Yeah. They're all going to Amazing Land. Because they're all going to Amazing Land to ride Thunder and the Ride. Phoebe and Max are like, say what now? Yeah. And Barb, sa and Barb says, Nora is finally tall enough and says they should all get ready. Phoebe says, Thunder Man the Ride. Max says, why is this happening? Then we get a flashback about when Phoebe and Max were kids five years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. We know years earlier. Years earlier. Years earlier. And then, yeah. Then they come down from Thunderman and ride, and then, then they said, why would anyone want to ride this thing? Thing. Who enjoyed it? Then a young Barb and Hank and Boy Barb's hair was really changed back then. She looks like she just came off of Ham Montana. But her hair's orange instead of blonde. I'm a big Ham Montana fan. I used to be a Ham Montana watcher, so for me to make a Ham Montana joke is really good. But anyway, yeah, so yeah, so they're like, let's go with some couple rides. So let's go on more rides. And then they hold each other saying, never again, never again, never again. Cut to them in the present saying, never again, never again. 
never again. Then they, then they, then they look at each other and say, um, Phoebe's like, yeah, let's never, let's never hug each other again. And Max is like, totally. After the opening, in the A-plot, um, Phoebe says, Phoebe says, she can't go on that ride again. The automated voice still haunts her. Please secure, secure personnel and enjoy the ride. She will not enjoy the ride. And Max says, he will not enjoy person, he will not secure personnel. He will not ensure personnel objects. Phoebe says, if they just told Hank and Barb the truth, they wouldn't make them go. Max says, no one can know. If if it got out the two soups, which I still am confused about Max calling himself a soup, when technically he's not, and he's only a villain, but he's pretending to be a villain, but I don't get why he calls himself a soup. He says that two soup. If two, if it got out that two soups were afraid of amusement park rides, their lives would be over. Well, Phoebe technically doesn't have a life, but his will be over. <laughs> I love Max. Thing. Phoebe, yeah, yeah. Phoebe says she doesn't have a life, but he has everything to lose. And then Phoebe. I love Max. Dang it. Phoebe says, yes, but a talking rabbit in a bo in boy band hair, everything he knew is everything to him. Phoebe, Max says, he knew one day Nora would get, would be tall enough. Phoebe says, curse her love of milk. Max says, he has a plan to change their identities. He'll be Sasuke Uchiha and she'll be Kanade. Or Subumi. Kanade is better. Phoebe says, well, Max was explaining his dumb plan. She came up with something a lot easier. Let's just tell Hank and Barb that they, that they don't want to go. That they have plans. Max said, let's do their thing. And Phoebe and Max, then Phoebe learns. Max says, Phoebe says, it won't come off. And he's like, Glued kind of mustache, kind of kind of day. Yeah, but but then Max rips it off. New on the B plot, Klaus is playing a game called playing a game, playing an app. When Klaus, when Hank con confronts him, Hank says that that the he was buying Amazing Land tickets when he found out someone was using his credit card to play an online game called Candy Squash. Which is an obvious pun to Candy Crush. Klaus tries to deny it, but then when the announcer says he squashed all the candy, he says, Oh, Candy Squash. Hank says, Klaus has spent $200 on a virtual candy? Real candy he gets, but virtual candy? Klaus is going to pay back every. Everything he owes Hank, or he'll be rabbits, or he'll be making a rabbit, or he'll turn him into a rabbit, or he'll be playing rabbit squash. Costa says, How is he supposed to come up with $200? Hank turned him into a rabbit. Then Costa sees a box of Nutty O's and makes Coloss O's, which are just Fruit Loops, which is, are just flute, Fruit Loops. But with Colossus' name on them. Then Colossus makes another food related pun, food mascot pun, by saying he's evilly delicious. Okay, I get you, I get you parroting, parroting off, I get you parroting off Fruit Loops, but you do not parody off Lucky Charms. Those are great. You are paying out like a charm show. Meanwhile, in the A plot, meanwhile in the A plot, Barb tells Max and Phoebe to get going. And Phoebe says she's going off to the mall with Cherry. Have plenty of amazing land without her bye. And then Barb is like, what was that? And she says, going to the mall with Cherry. Have fun as amazing land bye. And then Phoebe, and Barb says, Phoebe's coming with them. You, she knows how this day is important to Billy and Nora. And Phoebe says, she has to go to the mall to return this vase. 
And then Barb says, we've had that vase for six years. And Phoebe says, she got store credit. Then Nora lasers the vase by saying, by saying, that was a warning shot. Next, next, next time, the laser goes in your belly button. Oh, yeah, she was just excited for the ride. Wait, what? You, you threaten your sister, but that's just because you're, you're excited for the ride? Okay. Without my glasses, I can now see clearly. This show is really weird, but I just like it. But anyway. But anyway. Yeah. Max says he'd love to come to Amazing Land. He'd love to come to Amazing Land, but he he's got community service. He's got he's got to pick up trash by the highway, and no one questions like um Max, you are not in jail. Like no one questions that. Like Max, you have never been to prison. You do not need community service. But of course, here comes Billy to to to. to to derail Max's plan by taking all of the, by speeding away all of the trash, by cleaning up, up all the trash, trash by the highway. So yeah, so yeah, so Phoebe, so Phoebe, so Phoebe, so, Phoebe, so Nora lasered Phoebe's excuse and Billy spied away Max's excuse. Wow, well, why didn't they think this? And Billy found found a happy granola bar. They try to make him an excuse to get down there. But Barb says she gets it. Hanging out with her family is lame. And Phoebe says that's it. And Max says you guys are lame. And Barb says she's sorry, but they're going. Barb can guarantee this is not going to be lame. Cut to them singing. Super says has the soup sings. Super wedgie has a tight. Super super wedgie has the whitest tight. Super super villains has super singing. Super villains has the wedgiest tight. Super villains has the wedgiest tight. Super villain has the wedgiest tight. And Chloe says, "Super villain has the wedgiest tight because she kicked him. Because she kicked. Because she kicked him in the butt." Yeah, Chloe says that. Chloe says because because I kicked him in the butt. I don't know why Chloe. I guess that's part of the song. Or Chloe saying that I don't I don't know. Yeah, Max is like, yeah, you just said it would be lame, but you wouldn't be lame. They all laugh about what they all laugh with Chloe about what she just saying. And Max says it's bad enough they know they if they know they're going going to be afraid. But do they have to listen to their offensive, offensive supervillain song? Then Billy starts si trying to sing the song again. Then he knocks no Nora's chips at. Out of the out of the window, and Nora obviously is upset with him, saying, "Billy, you just spilled her favorite chips." You, and Nora yells at him, but Billy says it was an accident. He was just feeling the music. Then Nora says, "Feel this," and punches Billy. Hank says, "No fighting, or he'll turn this car around." Nora yells at him, and yeah. And he's as serious as his Thunderman the Ride hat. Then, welcome to the bad part of the episode, where Max decides, yeah, to get him and, for him and Phoebe to become the worst people imaginable in this episode, they're gonna, they're gonna, Max says, he's, Max uses his, Max says there's a way to get out of this. He, he'll use his powers to trick Billy into the fighting, Hank turns the car around, and they save their rep, but also become the, some, the selfish jerks. That's what I call them. I call them selfish jerks. But anyway, so Phoebe says that'll never work, but then Max does it, and Max, Max uses telekinesis to make Billy bump at Nora, and Nora says, "Stay on your side." Phoebe says, "Wow, that worked," and then she says, "I'll get Nora." Then, then she makes Nora's elbow bump into Billy's arm. Billy says, "Why he do? Why why'd you do that?" But but Nora says. But Nora says she didn't, and, Bill, and Billy says, says, you know, Billy's, 
No one says she didn't, he did. Then Phoebe and Max start using their telekinesis to make to, to make both Billy and Nora elbow each other with Chloe saying this won't end well. <laughs> again, I love Chloe being William Ding. I love Chloe. Ding again for the exact same thing. Her just knowing that this won't end well be saying this this isn't gonna end well. Just Chloe, just Chloe knows what's gonna. Chloe knows that this uh, what's gonna happen, and I love her for it. And Billy and Nora elbow each other, yeah. And Billy and Nora tell each other to stop. Meanwhile, in the B plot, Klaus is singing about Klaus World. He sees that his sales are skyrocketing, and his butt can sell anything. Meanwhile, in the A plot, Phoebe tells, wait, no, no, Nora tells. Billy to stop touching her. And Bill to quit touching her. And Billy says, stay out of his space. Nora says, he started. Billy says, she started. And Barb says, Billy and Nora have been fighting the entire trip. No, they haven't, Barb. They've been, they've been manipulated into doing it by your two kids in the back seat. And Chloe's behind them, but she, Chloe's right next to them. And apparently, she doesn't want to stop them because this is a, because... The plot must have its annoying plot, have its annoying episode count reasons. That Chloe just doesn't stop them for some reason. She's right next. She's right next to Phoebe and Max. Why doesn't she stop them? She does. She t doesn't tell them to quit. Nope. She just lets. She just. She just looks up at them, and that's it. She just looks up at them before they do it, and she. That's all we see of Chloe in the Max scenes. Actually, there's only two. Yeah. Barb says, Billy and Nora have been fighting all the entire trip. Why don't they sing a song? Nora saying, Billy's a... Billy's a jerk. Keep touching her. Billy says, no, Nora's a jerk. Stop touching him. Hank says, to behave or he'll turn this car around. Nora says... Nora says, if your dumb foot touches me again, I'll laser it off. Billy says, you wouldn't dare. And then Max is like, because I'm a jerk this episode, she will. And, and, then, and, then, and then makes Billy's foot touch her, which causes her laser eyes to activate. So Phoebe says, oh no, and deflects it off to Hank's, off to, off into Hank's hat. And Hank says, and Hank says his hat. That's it. We're going home. And they fist bump because they're selfish jerks that want to make us detain them. They want to make us. The, the writers of this episode want to make us dislike these two these two main characters for the rest of the episode. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk about it. I'm gonna give all my thoughts at the end. But anyway. Yeah, so, so yeah, so Max sings how they're, so yeah, so then Max sings about how they're not going to Thunder Man Land because his evil plan was evil. Sing it, Phoebe, same as the first, same as the, same, worst, same, same as the first, worst or something. And Phoebe says, oh, it'll get worse. Then Phoebe says, shouldn't they be worried about Billy and Nora? They'll get over it, right? Max says, they'll be fine. But this is talking to the same guy who thought, thought Phoebe and Link would be fine in episode 22. But thought Link would forgive Phoebe in episode 22. So we can't trust what Max says. Yeah. Max says they'll be fine. Unlike Billy and Nora, unlike them, Billy and Nora actually like each other. Trust him. They'll walk through that door. And nothing will happen. Then, like, nothing happened. Then Nora yet said, It's Billy's fault. It's, it's Billy's fault why they why they can't go on Thunderman the ride. Apologize. Billy's like, Billy's like, No, she needs to apologize. He waited forever to go on Thunderman the ride, and now Nora ruined it. He's always waiting for her. Nora says, What's that supposed to mean? Billy says, Wait till Nora's old enough. Wait for Nora to catch up. Wait for Nora to find the perfect bow. Nora says, he knows that's her, that's her signature look. No, it isn't, Nora. You wore 
a you wear a, a flower headband and then a bow headband for half of season one. This is not your signature look, girl. Stop lying to yourself. I watched all your season one episodes and you were not wearing a bow for all of them. So yeah, where they say that Nora's signature look, but it's actually not because she didn't wear a bow for all of her appearances in season one. It wasn't until like season one or ending of season one and start of season two where Nora wore bows more often. So yeah, Nora, not your signature look. But anyway, but anyway, yeah. And and he's and he's with and he's Norris Norris says and he knows that that the bows are his her signature look and he's always waiting for her because he can't do anything without her. Billy says, Billy says, starting now he will watch him break their friendship frame without her. But he struggles. So Norris says, of course, yeah, of of course, says once again he needs her help. So she lasers the friendship frame in half. Billy says, no, he doesn't. In fact, he's moving out of their bedroom. Nora says, good, she didn't like living with him anyway. She didn't like living with him anyway. Max says, Billy and Nora are still closer than they are. We want the A plot, or B plot, I don't know anymore. And Max is later. Max says, oddly enough for a rabbit, Clausen makes great cereal. But then Max's teeth fall out because he because Colosso dumped a bunch of sugar into it. Phoebe says, this thing's getting out of hand. Billy won't breathe the same air as Nora. He's passed out twice. Okay, Billy that's unsafe. And also shouldn't Billy that's unsafe. One Billy that's unsafe and two Billy could die from that. If he doesn't have air he could die. So how is Billy still alive? No. They need to fix this and tell the truth. Max says she wants Phoebe wants people to find you. Is there afraid of an amusement park? Phoebe says no, but she feels bad. Klaus says they should feel bad. Afraid of a silly ride? Max says there's nothing silly about being strapped to a two son death machine. And then Max telekinetically puts a sheet over Colosso. And Colosso says he hopes Max's teeth falls out. Max says Phoebe. There is a secret, their secret is safe, and that's all he cares about. That's all he cares about. The thing between Billy and Nora is not his problem. It's not their problem. Then Billy slides down the slide to re to tell Max that he's moving in with him, moving in with Max. And Phoebe says, sure, it looks like it's Max's problem now. Meanwhile, the B-plot, Klaus gets Hank $200 to see him. Klaus tells yeah, Klaus tells Barb he wants five thousand dollars to get something nice to eat at a restaurant. Barb says, "I'll, I'll eat you at apologize. I'll eat, I'll eat you at a restaurant. I'll wear you to a restaurant." He says, "Here's five thousand dollars." So she says, "Apology accepted." Yeah, but so Klaus says, "More Klaus catches where that came from." So he decides to check the cereal, cereal. So I was only to find that his site is under investigation from the Federal Bureau of Serial Crimes. Yep, of course it is. For Colossal O's is known to cause teeth to fall out. He says, lies, lies. But then, of course, his teeth fall out. I don't know how they grow back. He gets his teeth back by the end of the episode. So I don't know how they grew back. Meanwhile, in the B-plot, Wait, not a plot, sorry. Phoebe says, oh, Max, did, did he start wearing flea pajamas again? Max says, Billy was super speed, super speed sleepwalking. And, and she says, and he stepped on his face. And Max says, what's wrong with his face? Phoebe says, she's come up with a way to make Billy and Nora be friends again. They act, out, they act out a fake fight. Then when they see it, they'll apologize. And they apologize and remind them how siblings should behave. Phoebe says, Phoebe says, Pretends Max is the worst brother ever. And Max says, No, Phoebe is. Phoebe's the worst. Now he's quarreling with her. Quarreling? Quarreling? Who says that? And then Billy says, Billy, you want to show up because Billy heard they were quarreling. And, and Nora says, What did Billy do now? Phoebe says, She shoved, she shoved, he shoved her. 
He Max shoved her and she is demanding an apology. Max says he will not apologize. Uh, it was her who shoved him. Phoebe says, What are they doing, Max? Siblings should not fight. She's sorry. Max says, He's so, he's the sorry one, Phoebe. He shouldn't be the one to call that never said that her face smell or that she has dra draft elbows or that her hair clogs up the shower. And Phoebe says, Stick to the script. And then they start talking about how there's a... Max says, how long is this? And then she says about how there's a dance... Skip to the end. And how there's a bunch of like dance parties and dance battles. And then she says, I'm sorry, Max. This says, I'm, she accepts his apology. So they shake hands. Family. And Billy says, Max, you don't, you don't need to apologize to her. But she'll just wait for Max. She'll wait, she'll wait you for everything. Sisters and snowy faces of the world. Phoebe, Bar Bar Nora just randomly just shows up. Phoebe in the next shot and says, Brothers are the worst. They can't do any. They can't. Brothers are. They can't do. They can't do anything by themselves. They think for them. They can't think for themselves. And Billy says that that's not true. But then he asks Max to think of him. For, for a comeback, think to help him think of a comeback. Then Phoebe says, "Then, then, then Nora says, come on, Phoebe. Phoebe, she can be her new best friend.' And Phoebe says, "I don't think this is gonna work for her." And then Nora says, "Quiet, new Billy." And then lasers Phoebe. Speed. Billy says, "Max is gonna be his best friend. Let's go. He's got so he's thinking for two now. Don't know what that means." But meanwhile, in a B plot. Barb says she's got a she's got off the phone with the F with the Federal Bureau of Serial Crimes. Apparently they're coming tomorrow to investigate an illegal serial operation. Hank says Max, but Barb says she first saw that too. That's when she went down to Max Lair and see five hundred box five hundred and ten boxes of, of Colossal O. Colossal says Colossal O, where where is that rabbit? And Chloe says Panama, and then. And then Barb says, wait a minute. Wait. Did Chloe, and then Barb says, Panama? Now, did Chloe teleport Colossal there? And then Chloe, Chloe's like, ah, uh, mommy's pretty. And then Barb, of course, becomes becomes infatuated because Barb, for some reason now, is whenever she gets distracted by her looks, which is like, and then, then Hank, then Hank instead of being mad at Chloe for teleporting Colossus to, to Panama, he's like, C Chloe, you're going to teleport me to Colossus. And they go, and they teleport back with Colossus. Colossus says, you've got an enemy now, kid. And then Chloe says, you are bust. You are busted. And just leaves. I wish she has more scenes, but she leaves for the B plot. She leaves for the A plot. Yeah, Hank says, thanks to Colosso, the serial police are coming to his house tomorrow. Barb says, evidently Colosso homemade cereal causes severe tooth loss and raisins. They aren't real raisins. Barb says, they aren't raisins. And Colosso says, what did he do? What did he do? Do you mean, what did he do do? Mean that he put, the raisins are literally his crap. Ew. Ew, Colosso. That's gross. Meanwhile, in the A plot, Nora is lasering Phoebe when Phoebe says she's done playing lasers with Nora. Nora shooting lasers, Phoebe yelling, ouch, it's only fun for one person. He says, what's up with the walkie-talkie? Max says, he's got to feel Billy's talk. Billy says, he can't see, and then Max says, turn on the light. Turn on the light, buddy. Then, Link's, then the closet Hank tells Colossus that he's going back to his cage and don't ever use Chloe to teleport him any, anywhere again. And then Phoebe says, did Max just hear that? Chloe can teleport other people. And Max says, Phoebe didn't know that? He's been using Chloe to teleport him from school. He's been using Chloe to teleport. He's been, he's been using Chloe he's, to teleport to school for weeks. Because they said he's been walking to school for two weeks. Yeah, he hasn't been walk. He's been walking just in 
That means he's been using Max has been using Chloe to teleport him to school. Billy, yeah, Billy says there's something on his head. Max says that's Billy's hair. Phoebe says they can use Chloe to teleport Billy and Nora to Amazing Land if they get the thunder, the amount of thunder, thunderman the ride. They'll forget why they were ever mad. Nora tells Phoebe it's time to play ouch, and Phoebe says, oh no, Nora found her. Phoebe tells Max to find Billy and Chloe and to meet her in the driveway. Then Phoebe goes outside just to have her foot lasered by Nora. Then in the driveway, Phoebe and a frozen Nora, frozen Billy and Nora are waiting for Max and Chloe. Max says, says all right, Chloe, she's ready to take them to Amazing Land. Chloe says, buckle up, baby. Ding, three on the baby counter. Wow. Three. One in episode one, one in episode three, we know one in episode four, and now one in episode five. Wow. Yeah, so they unfreeze Billy and Nora. Billy and Nora both say, What are they doing here? Then Hank says, No, no, Chloe and, and, and and then Chloe says, do Amazing Land, and they teleport out. Then they teleport back into Amazing Land, and Billy says, how'd they get Amazing Land in their driveway? And Nora says, they're at Amazing Land, old Billy. She's glad she never has to, has to see him again. And, Chloe, and Phoebe said, tells Chloe to wait over by Thunderman, and Chloe says, Flat Daddy! But then, but for some reason, the Paramount Plus subtitle says that's Daddy. She said Flat Daddy. I know. I know she said Flat Daddy. I I heard her say Flat Daddy. Then Phoebe. Then Phoebe says now. Now they can know that they ride. Now they can ride the Thurman ride, so they can ride and be friends again. Nora says. Nora says. She can't be riding with Billy until he apologized. Billy says, of course, of course, let's all wait for Nora. Wait, 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 wait. And then Billy and Nora says that they're never talking to each other again. A few Max finally revealed to Billy and Nora that it wasn't each other who hit them. It was them using their power. And then because they wanted, because they're afraid of Thurman to ride, because it's so scary and it's barfing. And then, and then Nora says, and Billy says, wait, wasn't it wasn't their it was their fault because they wanted it because they didn't want to ride some ride because they wanted to keep their secret. Then Nora Billy and say they have to talk about, it. but since but Billy says he'll never forgive Nora, so they sit down on the ride and Max says it's okay, Nora, don't cry. And Nora says she's not crying, she's laughing. Then she says no, Billy. As Billy speeds around, strapping Billy, uh, strapping Phoebe and Hank in, we know Phoebe and Max into the on Thunderman the ride. Then Phoebe says, "What are you do? What are you doing?" And they're like, "Get it, Max!" And he's like, "Billy's like, get it, so payback." And Nora presses the button, causing Phoebe and Max to fly up. Chloe's eating an ice cream sandwich, saying, "Bye bye." Don't know where she got the ice cream sandwich from. She doesn't have any money. She's a four-year-old kid. And she, yeah. Either she teleported back between to get an ice cream sandwich. We never know. Where she got the money to buy that thing. Unless she teleported somewhere where they were selling them and got them and brought them back. We will never know. But but she says bye-bye to, she says bye-bye to, to Phoebe and Max. Again, we will never know where she got that money from. Just saying. We'll never know where she got the ice cream sandwich from. Just saying. Yeah. Nora says she's sorry about what she said to Billy earlier. Billy says she's she was right. He can't do anything but out with with without her. Because he has fun doing things with her, Nora says, she "says that's why she that's why she's making him wait for her so they can do fun stuff like this." Billy says, "They're not really gonna go on this ride, are they?" And Nora says, "Absolutely not. That looks terrifying." 
then the then the next then the next day, Billy and Nora laughing at the picture of ter that they put into their French frame of of Phoebe and of Phoebe and Max, and say that's a real scary face. Then it's revealed that Phoebe and Max, for some reason, are still at home in the the in the ride seats, t frozen from 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 ter from fear. How how did they get? The rides the the coaster seats to the house. We will never know, and they're stayed like that for the rest of the scene. They don't even talk, which is good because this episode was really, which is good, and they got what they deserved. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so they decided to put the, yeah, Nora says, Nora says, Nora says it really captures the, their fear and shame. Good call making them write it 20 times. They go put it in their wall, in, in the, in their room. Hank says, Hank says he can't, he's really sorry. He didn't, he had no idea it was illegal to make cereal in his basement. But, but $500, that's, that, that's. That seems like a pretty steep fine. Would they take Colossus instead? Colossus says, Someday, he's sure they'll be looking back on this moment and laughing. Colossus says, He'll be laughing. Colossus will be screaming. As he throws Colossus, as he throws Colossus into the sky. Then we cut to Colossus talking straight to the audience about, about brushing your teeth. With his new toothpaste. Colossus, Dr. Colossus, Colossus, toothpaste. Then Hank yells, Colossus! Then Hank, then Colossus says, uh-oh, to end the episode. Okay. This episode's still pretty bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's still pretty worse because Phoebe Max are unlikable to no end. Don't know why they wrote them this way, but... But again, Phoebe and Max are unlikable to no end. I liked the episode. I think it's still pretty bad. I liked it fine. It's pretty bad, but I liked it. It was again pretty bad, but I liked it. So I liked Chloe. I think Chloe was a highlight of this episode. She she was just pretty funny and like her own like he, like this won't end well and her and her saying, her her saying, her saying, you're busted. And al and also her saying bye bye was was really good lines. Even though Miles Clark is literally a guest star, why why make her a recurring character in your final season, but don't make her a character in this season? Why is she only a guest star that only shows up for like a few seconds of screen time and then leaves? I don't get that, but yeah. This episode, I ripped. I wanted to talk about how much I I want to rip his shreds. I will. This episode was poorly handled. It was. Phoebe and Max being jerks makes no sense. Max, I get, but Phoebe, I don't. Phoebe would never act this way. She would never try to destroy Billy Nora's friendship for her own personal gain. Max would. I totally buy that Max would do this. But Phoebe, that does not... This totally seems out of character. I don't buy that she would ever want to break up Billy and Nora just so she can escape a ride. Nope. 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 That is not Phoebe to me. That is not Phoebe at all. This episode is terrible, but it did have some good moments. Like... Like Max showing Phoebe that he knew that he knew that Chloe already had teleportation had uh, could teleport with other people before she even knew because Max is like you didn't know and the whole causal thing was pretty good even though it was just a Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms kind of episode but yeah not a very good episode but it but it did have some entertaining moments but yeah. Next episode, we have the final appearance. We have the second appearance of Link in the se the second 
Actually, Lincoln only appears four times in this season. He appeared in episode two, episode two, and episode three, episode six, episode ten, and episode twenty-five. And then that's the last we ever see of Link. He only has four episode appearances in this season. And then we never hear of Link again. We get get a mention in season four of him, but yep. Link is gone from the show. Brett Kanigan would do other appearances like Priest and Cobra Kai, Jamie's brother, Jamie's brother and Cruel Summer. I don't know why he never reprised his role as Link after this season. Link is a really interesting character, except for last episode. We know not last episode, but the pre the episode after last episode. Link was really was I could not believe how Link was drinking the Kool-Aid on how he could not believe that Quinn was an evil bug villain. That dude drank the Kool-Aid. And even though we never met even though Quinn would later get off screen get her memories wiped of Link. So because she so she would later get all of her memories wiped of Link because she knew the Thurman's house. So she had to get her memories wiped so she wouldn't expose them to to other people. Yeah. Sad sad way to end her character, but and even though yeah, sad way to end her character, but yeah. Yeah. Next yeah, next episode we have the return of Link Evil Man. Yeah. We have, Phoebe, we have Phoebe trying to stop him when, when a parent, in the next episode, we have Phoebe trying to stop, we have Phoebe trying to stop him when, when, when Phoebe says, when, when Super President Kickbutt sus suspects that, that, that evil man is going to come out of retirement and be evil again. Then, and we also have a storyline of Max working for evil man, Hank. Hank annoying evil man to no end because of how much he loves his mattresses. And we also have Cherry. Just being Cherry. We'll have to see where the Billy, Nora, Chloe, and Barb plot goes. But yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you next time for episode 6. For episode 6 of The Thunderman's Evil Never Sleeps. Wasn't a very good episode, but wasn't bad either. I'd give it a meh. I could I could put it on the worst episode of the season list, but you know, but we'll have to see if the rest of the rest of the season has a terrible episodes. I only have I only know one that was worse than this one, which was episode twenty one, which did a plot they already did in the season about Chloe being an being an innocent child who being a isn't child who takes everything literally but yeah that's it i'm becca from vz reacts and i'll see you next time bye for now peace and i remember see you unhappy